Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So this is our 2017 Hyundai Ionic Electric. And in this video, I'm gonna update the navigation and head unit software for the first time. So I don't actually drive this car anymore. My partner drives it. Um, Christ, we got a picnic going on in there. Um, so yeah, I can't really remember what the software is like on here, but let's just have a look at what the current version is. So we can go to settings, I think, system information. So navigation version, um, anyway, I won't read it all out, but let me just hold the camera there so I've got a record of the software versions, the firmware version, navigation, app, and the maps. This car is now uh, coming up to five years old and the software has never been updated on this. So what you've got to do is pop out the little SD card there. So this is a 32 gig SD card but what I've got is a replacement here so I don't overwrite that one. So the process of getting the software, I'm not gonna go through all the steps, but I'll just give you an overview. So first off, I have started with a new SD card, a 32 gigabyte card. I bought this one on Amazon. I'll put the link to it in the description below. Um, so my theory on this, it's better to start with a new card and not overwrite the one in the car. So you've got a full back to go back to if it doesn't work for some reason and these only cost six pounds or something anyway so um, I started with a brand new card they need to be 32 gig by the way not larger um, in this case I've got a card reader connected to the uh, Windows computer so the software from um, Hyundai only works on Windows or Apple Macs um, I've luckily I've got a Windows computer I stopped using Windows um, I don't know, 2015 I think was when I bought my first Chromebook and I've been fully Chrome OS since then. Uh, but we've got this old Windows computer in the office just to run our number plate software because that's the only software we use which doesn't work on uh, Chrome. So yeah, fired that up just to do this job. So it's quite handy having an old computer, an old Windows computer sometimes for these sort of things. Anyway, the link you need to go to is, um, I'll put it on the screen, but I'll also put it in the description below. You go to Hyundai's website and they give you this very good website with steps here showing you what you need to do. But of course my computer's ground to halt because it's busy still copying the SD card. But anyway, um, it is a very good website and it goes through all the steps. So basically the steps are, you don't need to format your SD card, the software will do it. So what you do is you download their bit of software, which is called Navigation Updater. Once that's downloaded, we've got an icon there on the desktop. You put in your car details, select them, the model of car you've got, and then it will download the software to the computer. Uh, this took a ridiculous amount of time. It was downloading so slowly, it took about an hour and I've got a, a fiber to the premises here so it wasn't the internet connection could be this PC but anyway very very slow so uh, I walked away and have left it and that's downloaded what it's now doing is it then once it's got the update on the computer it then detects your SD card so what I had to do is remove this remove the USB cable and put it back in because it needs to detect the card um, which in this case is drive D. So once it was happy and it detected the new SD card, it saw it, you then select it, it then formats the card, which is what it's doing now. It's done the formatting and it's copying the data from the hard disk to the SD card. So once that's finished, we can go and pop that in the car. So back into the car, we put the card into there and saying check sd let's go to settings and go to update i have never done this before so i hope this is going to work insert the memory device there we go 
the system will be updated. So, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. So I've gone back and looked at the instructions again and it basically says you go to all menu and then settings and then general which I don't have but the screen you go to did look just like that and then you go to update but nothing is working so here we are the following morning it seems that i had no data on this card so i put it back in the computer and let it do its thing again which i just left it overnight because for some reason it's taking a long time but anyway i've now checked and this new sd card does have lots of files on it this time so i don't know what happened first time so let's try again so just let this boot up. So obviously I've got the car running, stuck the SD card in, and now if I go to update again, well, it's detected it. It's just doing it. So let's see what this does. So we're now at 95%. That has taken about two minutes to get to there. Restart the system. Okay, and now it's going to reboot. Then there's another update. That's quite quick. Then another reboot. Considering this is a five-year-old car, it's quite a fast system on this head unit, actually. And then that's doing infotainment system software updating. So, um, obviously I've never done this before, but I think this is upgrading the maps, but it's also upgrading the um, operating system effectively of the head unit as well so we should see quite a few different changes considering this car's never been done so this third update is taking much longer it's been two minutes or so now and it's only at 25 percent so obviously you wouldn't need to sit here and watch all this um, upgrade but you would want to leave the car running because you wouldn't want the car shutting down while it was in the middle of upgrading firmware or software um, but yeah by the looks of it it's doing every step by itself automatically including all the reboots there's no um, selections needed so you could um, just leave this running and walk away and go inside for a bit and come back later yeah this last update 3 of 3 is taking quite a while it's probably been seven minutes now i've sat here and of course it feels much longer when you sat here doing nothing so yeah i've just sat here with the seat heater on uh watching paint dry well watching a little swirly symbol at the top there um certainly when it gets into the sort of 92 93 94 percent it really does slow down but anyway we're at 99 percent now so i guess that is about to finish and do another reboot There we go. So it's restoring data. That's nice and quick. And then looks like we're back to the start the update's all been done so am i going to notice any difference the trouble is i don't drive this car now my partner mel drives it so i haven't driven this car for some months now so whether i'm going to notice a difference i'm not sure 
let's just have a look. Navigation loading is taking a long time, but maybe that's because it's the first time. Um, so yeah, while I'm waiting for that, there was some reports I saw online that the um, units of, of uh, distance, you know, the miles or kilometres changes. Um, I'm not sure whether it's up there or just on the sat-nav, um, but I did read that it wasn't applicable to these later versions. So I've, uh, we're now, what, the 6th or 7th of January 2022. Um, obviously, when you go online to the Hyundai software and download the update, you're probably going to get an update later than where they were having these issues with the uh, dash because people were having to disconnect the 12 volt battery to make the uh, dash go back to miles um but right well certainly that is looking different so let's just go on the radio and turn the volume down um not sure that doesn't look much different telephone uh, map uh, let's just stick in a destination there hmm not sure not sure whether that's any different the graphics look a bit different but the route guidance will start now oh got a different voice um does look different graphics anyway i'll get mel to have a look and see what she thinks um root root options where's council no certainly the graphics look different um i'm trying to work out how you cancel a route the route guidance will start now council route there we go sometimes you can't see it for looking um, so I think what we'll do is drive it and then I'll just come back to wrap this video up when uh, we've had a chance to see what differences there are. Um, that's what I'm looking for, home. Oh yeah, it's a home screen. Yeah, it's changed, doesn't it? Uh, all menus. So that all looks the same. Uh, EV. That all looks the same. So yeah, the menu system doesn't look like it's changed. The home screen looks a bit different. The sat-nav integration there is a bit different. The radio possibly. But anyway, as I said, we'll, um, I'll get Mel to have a little look and see if there's any difference and uh, come back to you. But as far as updating the software, which primarily that's what the video is about, of course, um, yeah, once you get the data on your SD card, which is a mistake I made the first time, I don't know why, because the software seemed quite happy and it downloaded it, it reformatted the card and it seemed to copy onto the card fine, but I didn't check, it all just looked good, put it in and obviously the card was empty and that's why it wasn't working, but I did exactly the same time, second time round, left it running and came out this morning and uh, yeah, the card this time had data on and clearly it worked. So um, the actual process of updating the software obviously really simple you just stick the card in and it does it um, in total now I've been sat in the car for let's say 20 minutes that has taken to uh, complete that process so yeah the primary differences are the sat nav and the radio seems to change but all the other menus look okay so Mel's just plugging in her phone here to see if and Android Auto is any different <coughs> So, is that going to, oh, there we are, you got to manually load it. It's taking a while to load, isn't it? Does that look any different? It doesn't look no different. It's a bit slower. 
Right, let's turn that volume down. Ah, you got Android Auto burn up there. That was there before. That was there before, was it? Yeah. This one doesn't look any different. Didn't oh, it? that looks... I don't know what that is. I've never noticed that before. ZapMap. Zap I didn't know ZapMap. ZapMap was on there. Did ZapMap come through before? Zap, but I don't scroll through, but the background looks different. Yeah, it's got new graphics got on new the background. Um, doesn't seem to be... That's no different. Isn't it? No. Doesn't seem to be as fast. But maybe it's because the first time it's loaded and it's got to build up some cache files. But generally, the changes are quite small. Yeah, yeah that looks the same. Right. Okay, I think that's it for that video then. But anyway, if you need to, if you want to do the update, it's all free on um, the Hyundai website, uh, and it's all a relatively easy process. It's just I made that mistake. Well, I didn't make the mistake, but anyway, the uh, the files didn't get written to the SD card. So yeah, when you take your SD card out of your computer, it's probably just worth going into my computer and making sure that the card is populated with data before you go into the car. But apart from that, it's a plug and play and then a wait job. It's nice and easy to upgrade. OK, I'll wrap it up then. Um, as always, if you found this video useful, please do click that thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching the video. This channel gets small viewing numbers. So to get the video noticed in people's feeds, YouTube favours videos with what they term engagement. And that basically means comments. So please do comment on the video. Do ask me questions. Tell me what you want to see next. Also hit the little thumbs up button if you found the video useful or you liked it. Do subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button and then press the bell to be notified when new videos get uploaded. Also have a look at the back catalogue of videos. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of videos on the channel already. And also use the search function to find videos that you might find interesting. Thank you very much.